Mike Tyson's in the game, ladies and gentlemen. Last boxing competition for him against Kevin McBride in 2005. He loves this mixed martial arts stuff. You know about his appetite for competition. This feel, this felt like an eventuality. Tyson on the biggest stage tonight. Yeah, it always felt like Mike Tyson would make his way here because he loves fighting so much and he loves mixed martial arts so much. But if you ever thought a guy could cross over from boxing with the athleticism, you thought it was Iron Mike Tyson. He was so fast, he was so gifted. He's an A-plus athlete. And if he commits himself to the rest like he did boxing, I imagine Tyson will find a lot of success inside the octagon. Once the baddest man on the planet, trying to realize that distinction again, albeit in a different combat sports setting. We'll see how it goes for Iron Mike tonight. Mike Tyson has stepped inside the octagon. Tyson looks ready to fight tonight. Well, a special feel in this arena tonight for more reasons than one, but of course, the centerpiece is the former two-division UFC champion, the future Hall of Famer, Conor McGregor, returning to the proven ground here tonight. He fought three times in 2016, just once in 2018. Everybody's excited to see what version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. There are more Irish flags in the building <laughs> than you'll find anywhere in the United States of America. <laughs> and it's all for the notorious one. Conor McGregor has taken his country put it on his back and rode it to superstardom. He is a fantastic fighter, has really good takedown defense, which allows him to keep the fights on the feet where guys are always in danger. You're constantly in danger whenever you're fighting Conor McGregor because the moment you attack, that counter left hand is like a piston and he can shut your lights out with one strike. Yeah, that McGregor counter left hand, truly one of the best weapons in mixed martial arts today. A master when it comes to movement and distance management and also just rising to the occasion, right? When all eyeballs are on him, and you've experienced this as well, the ability on fight night to shun. All the distractions, Connor is able to shut him out, and he goes into the octagon, is focused, and always gets the job done. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the notorious Conor McGregor! The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. Well, with about as much fanfare as you would expect, the biggest star this sport has ever seen, Conor McGregor, is back tonight. And now let's see how he performs. Certainly he has handled everything during fight week quite well. How does he handle fight night? We're going to get some answers here shortly, Joe. Throws that deep, and it lands. All right, so we build this as a striker's delight and a good early sign for the boxer getting inside and landing that hook on the kickboxer. Beautiful hook in close, staying tight so that the kickboxer is very limited with using his legs, but he can always land and turn on that beautiful hook. Fast pace here in the early going. 
Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang. Oh, continuing to attack the head as that diving punch lands. All right, side control now. Northside position. Come on, Trout. Get your mind out of the goal. He's in the mount. McGregor getting worked here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much. Not oh, oh, this could do it. His misses are entertaining. Yeah. All right, so an opportunity goes by the... There it is again. Oh, look at it. Back to his feet. Ground and pound strike lands, and that has caused some swelling or so, it appears. Oh, he reverses the position now. Nice work on the ground by McGregor. Yep, and he's got him secured in the half guard now. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Nice shot there by the champ. Well, good dexterity and movement here on the ground to avoid any further damage, courtesy of that ground and pound. Nice job off of his bat by Tyson. Oh, nice combination of strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent. Not unlike like Muhammad Ali over Sonny Liston. Oh, that is a good reference. If you're standing, you're going on the ground. You're doing really good work. Nice punch land over the top. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. Oh! That's it! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 11 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. Well, who would have thought that the former boxing champion Iron Mike Tyson would become a bona fide UFC contender? This win tonight is certainly a step in the right direction. He had a lot of doubters and naysayers coming into this one, but Mike Tyson gets his hand raised, and it seems like no matter the sport, no matter the combat setting, when the stakes are the highest, when the lights are the brightest, Mike Tyson rises to the occasion. He most certainly did that here tonight.